the Hike Talk on TherapyCable.com and I'm here at the beautiful Crystal Cove State Park in Laguna Beach and today we're going to be asking questions about platonic friendship. Can an attractive guy and an attractive girl be just friends? So follow me. Well, yeah, because I'm friends with my friends and everybody always thinks that we're together but we're always just friends. Like I see her more as a sister to me than you know, girlfriend material. Do you think that in some, maybe you guys will develop feelings in the long run? No, I just, I don't know, I just see her as my sister kind of thing, so I don't think it'd be right to date her. Do you think that a guy and a girl can be just friends without any feelings developing along the road? Um, I think they can, but if they're attracted, if they're both attracted to each other, it's obviously doomed. Um, because there's always that sexual tension in the way, but if they're not attracted to each other, I think they could. Yeah. Um, do you think it's a bad thing, though? If they, like, if they do develop feelings for each other? No, I mean, it's, if it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, what if, like, let's say it was just, you know, one person had feelings for the other. What do you think, you know? It... Well, they're gonna have to be okay with being stuck in friend zone. And <laughs> yeah. being okay with that. So if you're physically attracted to each other, yeah. and then you're, you know, spiritually attracted to each other, then, yeah, it's, that's a romantic relationship waiting to happen. Well, they're just talking about having two good-looking people who just be friends. They never said they were attracted yeah. to each other, just two good-looking people. Yeah, two good-looking people. I have a friend who's good-looking from kindergarten, who's been best friends for like It can go either way, you know, it all depends on attraction in the end. Yeah. I just think the intentions and motives have to be the same as far as keeping it platonic. If I don't think that you could be platonic friends if one person has feelings for the other, I don't think that would work. Have you ever had any experiences with that? Like if anybody had liked you and you're just like, you don't feel the same? Uh, I totally had crushes on straight men before, but we were just friends. <laughs> the hike talk Ooh, on therapycable.com and we're just doing a little wrap up today um, here in the wilderness we're in like the woods it's like very quiet it's um, beautiful out here it's really beautiful and cold and cold <laughs> and we have a special guest Perfect. lily with us today Hi. welcome back lily thank yeah. you for having me guys we're gonna Absolutely. be she's gonna be commentating <laughs> very on whatever excited we say, for this so. topic mm -hmm. so last week we talked about um can a uh, an attractive male, an attractive female, just be just platonic friends. We got a lot of good answers. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about it. Take it away. Sure. Um, based on what we've looked at as far as research, it seems that that's really based on an old-fashioned idea that uh, the woman stays home and the men's out uh, working, doing whatever, and the only time they interact uh, together would be to further a romantic relationship. And that's not the case anymore. You know, I have, I personally have a lot of very close friends, both of you. It all depends how you go into that situation as well. I think you need to be clear with each other. 
Um, I definitely agree with that. I mean, our friendship, as you mentioned, it's it's more of like we see you um, as the protector, you know, of our friendship, and it's it's really solid and happy to protect um, you, ladies. Yes, yeah, so we feel that way. And some of the relationships, even when I see and talk to my guy friends, I feel like it's more of like a sibling type of relationship too. You know, just feeling very comfortable with each other. Um, that I can share anything with them and they have my back and so I don't see anything more than that but it's it's a nice comfortable relationship yeah yeah and it's a good thing you brought up um, the the point about you know uh, being a protector because actually according to research um, by Bless Scan Bus in uh, 2012 uh, it, it supports the notion that men and women may sometimes have very different goals and desires in opposite sex friendships but more specifically, men appear to be more likely to look at opposite sex friends as potential sexual and romantic partners, whereas women, in contrast, tend to prefer non-sexual friendships because it provides protection and resources. So, um, you know, as uh, I think psychologically speaking, um, you know, with us women go in, we tend to be like, oh, we want a companion, we want somebody to support us, like, to protect us, somebody to, like, be there, somebody to, like, you know, uh, you know, be there right right when we need some help or like I'm like stranded somewhere like I can call one of my guy friends or something to pick me up. I think it's more of like that whereas uh, the male friend tends to develop feelings more than the woman or when you're comfortable in your friendship and you're being yourself the other person tends to develop feelings which then can lead to like awkwardness so you'd have to solve that out within your relationship. Yeah naturally and if, if you're both single the more time you spend around each other uh, the more you, you kind of notice some things that you like about that person but it, it all it's it's on a case-to-case -case basis mm -hmm. you know it, going back uh, I, I think you have to be clear with intent uh, right from the get-go if you want to further a romantic relationship then go for it and discuss that but if you just want to be friends just be clear about that too so nobody gets hurt so let us know what your opinions are we'd love to hear them and join us back here next time on the hike talk Talk another episode next time. Stay tuned. See you soon. Bye.